What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel where today we're going to be working on something a little different than our salvage vehicle projects. We're going to be working on a Zamboni. Now some of you might ask yourself what is a Zamboni? Well a Zamboni is a machine they use to recondition and resurface the ice at an ice rink. While one day visiting the local ice rink inquiring about one of these machines for a future project, they asked me if I could help them with the dilemma they were having, converting a gasoline Zamboni into a propane powered Zamboni. So with my extensive automotive experience and the love for a challenge, I decided to take this one on. So here is what we are working with. Now this is a Zamboni to resurface the ice. You know some of you guys up in Canada up north you know exactly what this is. Maybe you're a figure skater, a hockey player. You know what a Zamboni is. It is an ice resurfacer and as you can see we have this one here and we have one back here. The task at hand today is we're going to take the propane parts off of this Zamboni and convert it over to this gasoline Zamboni. They want to make the gasoline Zamboni propane because of the emissions in the building is really high with the gasoline and their other Zamboni, their primary Zamboni is already propane so it's pretty straightforward. They already have the canisters for the propane. So there's a little bit involved here. What we're gonna to have to do is you can see here we have our vaporizer for our propane and it is carbureted. We're gonna remove that entire intake manifold assembly, all of our fuel lines. We're gonna to have to disconnect some of our coolant lines. And going back here to the back, we have our tank bracket, our tanks, our tank valve, the lines going to the engine. All this stuff is gonna to need to be moved over to the gasoline Zamboni. Now over here you can see we do not have a tank bracket, but I've already looked and all these holes line up and our tank bracket should just bolt on. We do have to do a few little modifications like drill a couple of holes. We're gonna to need to drill a hole here for the fuel line and obviously run the fuel line. So here you can see our gasoline intake manifold and our carburetor. We're gonna unbolt that manifold and bolt the LNG manifold right on. But here we're gonna to need to remove the fuel tank, fuel lines, the filter, and the fuel pump that's on the side of the block. We're also gonna do a little bit of maintenance we're going to replace this valve cover because it's leaking and we should be good to go. Pretty straightforward as you can see. And while we're in here, we're going to go ahead and replace these belts because we have to undo this one anyway because this has the governor assembly. So some of you guys might be interested on how these things work and how they're powered. And here's what we have. It is a 1.8 liter Volkswagen industrial engine. It is very similar to what you would find in a mid 80s to early 80s Volkswagen car four cylinder. Uh, most of the components are exactly the same But we have here is a hydrostatic transmission with a hydraulic pump and it runs all the hydraulic motors This controls the whole Zamboni. It works the brush. It works all the hydraulics and lifts This dump part on the top and it also drives this transmission as you can see down here It works everything on the Zamboni. It's really simple and it's really just forklift technology now since this is our donor Zamboni we're going to go ahead and we're going to start removing all of the propane components. All of our tanks, our brackets, and all that stuff. And then once we get all these parts off, we'll go and we'll start disassembly on the gasoline Zamboni. And we'll start installing all of our propane parts. As you can see, all of the propane conversion parts that we needed from this donor are now removed. You can see the intake manifold is gone, along with the vaporizer, the governor, the lines, and we have our tank bracket off on the ground, along with our tank. There's our tank bracket. But you can see we've got this whole back panel disassembled. Now we can start on the gasoline Zamboni. As you can see, this has a smooth back panel here. And originally, I was just gonna bolt our tank bracket here but I believe I can actually use both panels from the other Zamboni 
that way we don't have to drill any holes all the holes will line up correctly in the correct spot and here's our vaporizer and our carburetor and intake manifold assembly along with our governor and we're going to replace these hoses right here because it's cheap insurance we're right at it and also like we stated we're going to change those belts too so we're going to move from the parts zamboni over to the zamboni that we are going to convert to propane Well, we've got our rear panels on, we've got our holes drilled. We just need to go ahead and bolt on our tank bracket here, but we've got a little bit of an issue. As you can see, this bar right here is bent. We're gonna need to use a longer bolt and stack some washers or maybe some nuts. That way we can get the wing nut on because this is not really structural. It's just really to hold this panel on. So moving up here, it's time to work on the engine. We need to remove this intake manifold and we're also gonna do the valve cover gasket, as I said, because it is leaking. Also, we're gonna to need to remove this front panel so we can get to the front of the engine and that's pretty easy. You just have these bolts right here on the side, they come off and that whole panel comes off in one piece. And over here, you can see we have our fuel pump that's gonna to need to come off. We're gonna to need to put the block off plate on there so we don't have any kind of oil leaks. We're gonna to need to remove the filter and the lines and the tank. So we have all the gasoline parts removed except for the fuel tank and we'll do that later but as you can see the inside of this engine is very clean it has minimal wear everything looks good now we just need to clean up the valve cover clean up this head surface put our brand new gasket on clean up our intake side put our new gasket on and start reassembling Well, my camera decided to quit, but as you can see, we have the engine all buttoned up. Everything's already hooked up. We need to hook up our fuel line, but I'm not happy with the routing, and we're gonna have to remove that fuel tank so we can route the line the correct way. And back here, I've made a little bit of progress. As you can see, we got the valve system hooked up. We have our new labels for the valve, and we're working down here trying to get this bolt so we can have something to screw this panel on. Not much left to do before we get to fire this thing up and see how well it runs on propane so we're moving right along there's not much left for us to do except those few little minor things and we'll have this thing running in no time And we have it all back together. The propane conversion is complete. Everything is hooked up as it should be and looks pretty factory. Even back here on the back, as you can see, with the tank brackets and everything swapped over, it looks really good. Well, we got everything buttoned up. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Let's start this thing up and see if it runs.
So I've let this thing run for a little while and I've got it up to operating temperature. Now we need to do a timing check. And we need to adjust that because it does have a different timing for gasoline versus propane. And you can see here, we need to disconnect this piece right here, the vacuum advance, and plug that off. And then we're gonna loosen this bolt. We're gonna turn the distributor after we start it back up. We're gonna use this handy dandy timing light, something that you don't normally use anymore because most cars and stuff don't even have a distributor. And our timing marks are actually here. It might be a little hard to see, but there's our timing mark. And it's actually on the flywheel instead of up on the front on the harmonic balancer like it would be on the car. there you have it we got it tuned out we have the timing set and it's pretty much ready for service Working on this conversion not only gave me a challenge, it also gave me the opportunity to pick up a Zamboni shell for a future project on the channel. So until next time, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Be sure you check out all my videos on all my other projects. And if you're not subscribed, then consider clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell so you'll get the notifications. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram.